The war in Israel has heightened tensions all across the world, including on college campuses here in the U.S. Let's bring in News Nation's Elizabeth Pran. And Elizabeth, dueling demonstrations at Columbia University in New York. Uh, yeah, and, and Nicole, we're seeing this really all over the country. And it seems to be that universities and college campuses are all responding a little bit differently. It's almost like a microcosm of what people across the United States feel in regards to a conflict that is thousands of miles away. It's quite personal. In fact, there's a new poll by NPR, Marist, and it said 65% of Americans think that the U.S. government should publicly support Israel. You can see on your screen, 23% basically say we should do nothing and 8% or say nothing and then 8% say the U.S. should criticize Israel. So now we're seeing a rise of school leadership in response form a multi-faith coalition. If you can see on your screen, there's a number of universities here. And in response, it says, uh, we stand with Israel, with Palestinians who suffer under Hamas's cruel rule in Gaza, and with all people of moral conscience. But like you said, I mean, we are seeing campuses erupt in protests. So students on both sides of the debate on what's supposed to be peaceful rallies. Some students on campuses are taking a hard stance against Hamas and condemning the deadly attacks. On the other hand, you do have student-led organizations taking aim at Israel. Some of these students tell News Nation they just feel a lot of pain with the division. This is a classic IDF move to, to turn the narrative and to win the PR game. Hamas does not have these kinds of rockets. It's, uh, it's going to show that this is the IDF and solely the IDF. It's hard to put into words the feelings of anger and sadness. We as a Jewish people feel each other's hurt and pain. We are one family. We are one people. I am really just praying for all of the innocent people that are caught in the sides of it. And Nicole, we are seeing at NYU a number of students taking down posters of those who are currently being held in captivity. So you can see tensions are really high. This, although thousands of miles away, is a very personal conflict. Nicole, back to you. All right, certainly is all right. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.